Hello everyone, how are you? Today is Tuesday, day two of my, I guess I could call it a vlog about my gratitude uh, practice that I'm trying to cultivate. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Lori Hoy. I am a online uh, wellness coach. I'm a dance fitness instructor. I own my own fitness facility and I have some online groups that I host and these last, uh, these next 21 days, I have asked um, the group members to talk about some, or cultivate their own gratitude practice and selfishly because I need it too. Um, and I uh, basically am gonna come in here every single day and I won't say this every single day, but I'm gonna come in here and share with you the prompt that was given to the group and um, my response. So I want to encourage you, again, you don't have to do it, but I would encourage you to try something uh, different like gratitude practice. Now, a lot of times it's make a list of 10 things that you're grateful for today or make a list of, and I've chosen to do something a little bit different, mainly because I've tried those and I didn't stick with it. So I'm gonna try something different to see if I can get there. Because I would love to be able to sit down every single day and tell you I can do this and write down 10 things I'm grateful for. And maybe you can, and I applaud you on that, but I tend to say the same thing every day because yes, I, want, I am grateful for all of those things, the normal things, right? But I wanna get it a little bit deeper. I wanna dig a little bit further. And so this is just one way that I'm gonna try and develop a different kind of a practice. So you're gonna see me looking at two different cameras because I am live right now on Facebook and I am live on Instagram. So I'm gonna be doing it for both platforms at the same time. I'm not going live on, on YouTube yet. Now I'm going to be uploading all of these videos to YouTube. So if you wanna catch me there on a the replay, you certainly can do that. But I also have learned that I have to keep this video under 10 minutes for Instagram IG story or IGTV. So that's where I'm hosting or holding those as well. So you can always go back and do that. So today's day two of 21 days of gratitude. And the prompt today was, um, what was one of the happiest memories of your father or mother? And as, all, as always, I've mentioned to everybody, this is my practice, this is your practice. If you wanna talk about just one of your parents or if you wanna talk about both of them, there's no rules. And so when I sat down to do my writing this morning, because I'm also writing it in a journal, I was like, well, I don't want to just do my mom and I don't want to just do my dad. So I chose, I chose something from both of them. And um, they're a little bit different for different reasons. So basically, uh, I'll talk about my dad first. So one of the happiest memories I have of my dad, and there are many, but I just the one that really totally just kind of popped into my brain, and I actually had another one I thought about sharing as well, um, but for my dad, it was uh, my sister and I uh, and my brother always struggle with when it's birthday time or Father's Day, what do we get our dad? Because we feel like our dad truly does have stuff, a lot of stuff. Like, do we really need to have as much stuff as we do? And it was always really hard to find something to get him for those, those days. And so we decided, my sister and I did, um, that when his birthday came around or Father's Day came around, either one, that we would, instead of get him something, we would try to make an experience or do an experience or make a memory. So one of those times, I believe it was for his birthday, um, we vacation on Cuca Lake. My grandparents, his father and mother used to live there. And so we grew up on Cuca Lake in, in New York state. And so we decided uh, we were gonna take him to the lake and do some of the things there that we always love to do, but just with him. Cause we always did it as a family. So we was like, you know, dad and his girls. And we took him to Cuca Lake. We went to the wineries and tasted some wine. We went to dinner. We, um, we visited the new boat museum that they have there. Cause we knew my dad would love that. And then there's a chapel, um, that's on. So, uh, Cuca Lake is like, it's, they call it like the thumb and the finger of a lake. I don't know why, but it's just, it kind of like looks like that part of your body. And there's a chapel that sits right on the bluff. And so we, we took him there and we toured that and we really had a wonderful time. And it was like one of the first times that we've really just spent just with our dad in a really long time since we were kids. Cause you know, we're adults and we have this time and nothing really spectacular, like over the top happened, but it was just, 
a great time to, to send with him. Now, one of the funny things that happened is we he had a, we took his, our first selfie with him. So. <laughs> and you can hear my dogs. And I'm not going to leave the camera because it's, I only have so much time. And so anyway, the the one of the happiest memories I have of my mom is for a total different reason. It was still on Cuca Lake. And um, my mother, uh, growing up, had always been... Um, when we, the kid, us kids wanted to go swimming in the lake or in a pool or whatever, was very protective because she, she never learned how to swim. And, um, I remember telling the story that her mom was afraid of water. So it kind of just rippled that rippled effect that she was, um, fearful of water as well. And so it took, um, a lot of years and, uh, you know, practice to get her in the pool and all of us kids always swam. And, you know, so she did what I would think is what, what moms do is we want our, our kids' lives to be better. So she introduced us to that and had lessons in a whole nine yards. And so anyway, one of the happiest moments was when my, as kids, we always were in the, you know, in the, in the water, boating, skiing, all those things. And one year she decided that she was going to go on the tube. We would, we would do the tubing. And I don't know if you've ever done that, been pulled behind a boat on a tube, on an inner tube, which as you, if you think about it, it's kind of really crazy, right? <laughs> so here's my mother, knowing that she's fearful of water, says, you know what? I want to do it. So we, we got her on the tube and we took her, you know, around. Of course, we didn't go as fast as the, the kids would normally do. We were very safe and wanted her to have a great time and blast. And she was laughing the whole time. And it was just one of those moments that I was super proud of my mom for facing a fear and doing something that was uncomfortable. And so it gave me a newfound respect for my mom. And so that was one of the, sorry, one of the happiest moments that I, ha I mean, there are many, I, there, there, probably too many to list, but I just was one when I sat down and I wanted to think about it real quickly, that's what came to mind. And so I am super grateful that I have, I still have both of my parents in my life and, um, and hope to have them for a lot more years, uh, as I get, as I age and get older. So anyway, um, for those of you out there that have lost a parent, this is not meant to make you feel sad. It's meant, meant to you to just stop and think about some of the happiest times that you did spend with your parents and just try to cultivate a day where well, even when it's bad or when there's things going on in your life that you don't think you can get out of, you can always think back to these times. And I'm definitely going to come back when I'm done with these 21 days and reread the things that I wrote so I can continue to see the things that I am, I am grateful for and that come into my life. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, as always, you can either private message me, you can share in the comments if you'd like. I would love to hear them. Um, yesterday I had several people message me back and it was really great to hear their stories. So I appreciate you for tuning in and following me and sharing, um, sharing my videos when, when it seems uh, appropriate for you. So I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow.